Sometimes people who have a hard time losing weight may also have problems with hypothyroidism, also known as an underactive thyroid gland. This condition makes our body's metabolism slow down and retain more liquids than normal. It's a sickness that affects more women than men. When our thyroid gland, located at the base of the neck, slows down, the output of hormones drops, which causes very specific symptoms such as constant fatigue, menstrual changes, decreased metabolism, which affects how we expend energy, sensitivity to cold temperatures, ease in gaining weight and great difficulty in losing it. Most often the weight is put on around the face, waist and thighs. Dry hair and skin, low hoarse voice, sleep disorders, worsening osteoporosis, constipation. If there is a lack of hair on the outer region of your eyebrows, you might have a predisposition towards hypothyroidism. This symptom could also indicate that you're in the beginning stages of the disorder. People that suffer from hypothyroidism need to learn to practice new eating habits in order to reduce their symptoms. Learning new eating habits can help treat hypothyroidism so much that you might not even need to continue to take medicine, especially if you catch it in its early stages. Some foods that people with hypothyroidism need to start eating are coconut oil. Extra virgin coconut oil is a saturated fat rich in triglycerides. These nutrients have the power to deal with two of hypothyroidism's main symptoms as it quickens the metabolism and facilitates weight loss. The recommended dose is two tablespoons a day, one in the morning before breakfast and another at night before you go to bed. Seaweed. In many cases, hypothyroidism is due to a lack of iodine in the body, so eating foods that are rich in this mineral can help you deal with the symptoms of this disorder. Seaweed, especially a brown algae called fucus, is an important food for people with hypothyroidism because it's very rich in iodine. Before you introduce iodine into your diet, talk to your doctor because too much iodine could have side effects. Garlic. Garlic is a great food to treat sensitivity to cold, fatigue, and apathy because it acts as a mild stimulant. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper naturally activates our metabolism, which is excellent for anyone who suffers from hypothyroidism. Furthermore, it increases our body temperature. It also alleviates constipation and joint pain. It's important to remember to introduce cayenne pepper into your diet slowly, so as not to cause digestive disorders. Ginger. Ginger is a refreshing, aromatic spice that also helps speed up your metabolism and combats water retention. Pistachio nuts. Pistachio nuts are highly recommended to help fight hypothyroidism because of their high iodine content. Fennel. Fennel works as a hormonal regulator which also stimulates production. That's why it's so important for people who have an underactive thyroid gland. Ginseng. Ginseng is also a powerful natural stimulant for anyone who has hypothyroidism because it helps them to activate their metabolism and lose weight easily. Sesame. Our thyroid produces calcitonin, a hormone that helps us to absorb calcium. Therefore, people with hypothyroidism may suffer from other disorders such as osteoporosis. Incorporating sesame into your diet helps to prevent this problem since it's rich in calcium. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.